Joe Biden uh, censored zero times, notably. Uh, no, because we're taking our message directly to the American people. We'll be making five rally stops a day. Five. Uh, thousands show up. Literally, we had 25,000 people uh, show up in Omaha. These are historic crowds. The president takes his message directly to the American people. And shame on Jack Dorsey. As the New York Post noted today, this is a mob artist. This is a shakedown effort to say, delete the Hunter Biden story. The media won't report on it. Social media will censor it, delete it, or we will censor the fourth largest newspaper in the United States. We will block them from social media. Uh, Big tech needs to uh, be handled. And this president, a second term, will do just that because there needs to be equity. There needs to be a, a, a lack of censorship. This is what happens in North Korea, not in the United States of America. Yeah, look, the American people have a very clear choice when it comes to COVID. You can vote on Joe Biden or you will be locked down. Your schools will be closed. Your churches will be closed. You won't have social gatherings. It will be a lockdown versus President Trump, where where we are safely reopening this country. Americans deserve jobs. They deserve freedom. Joe Biden's modeling his strategy, which is lockdown in the basement. But this president has surged therapeutics and testing and a vaccine in record time. We can control this. But at the same time, we can open this country and not lock down like Joe Biden will do. That's right. It's their livelihood. These are small businesses, people who have worked their entire lives to open uh, these shops, these businesses. And then on top of that, you have 30 police officers who were injured on the first night of the riots, one run run over by a car, a chance to stuff police officers in trunks, a a vehicle with explosive devices. Uh, Let me be crystal clear why this is happening. It's because Democrats have enabled the mob. When they attack our police officers verbally, it ends up that they end up being attacked physically. It's called What Jim Comey said, the Ferguson effect, and we're seeing it play out yet again. So as we have 70 new infections a day and 29 states have hit highs, is the president's approach herd immunity? No, the president's approach is therapeutics, which, by the way, have given us the lowest case fatality rate in the world, far lower than Europe's. Right now, when you look across the hospitals in the United States, the percentage of covid patients in hospital beds is six percent. It's because this president did things right. You have a ninety nine percent survival rate under 70 uh, and, and above 70 because of our therapeutics. It's very close to that because of what this president did, tearing down bureaucratic barriers, tearing down regulations paving the way for therapeutics. We have done this right, and the Europe-United States comparison tells that story. All right, Kaylee McEnany. The fact is, every time I've uh, called the president, he's quickly gotten on the line. When we asked to get support for that mercy ship in Southern California, he was able to direct that in real time. What the federal government did, working with states, was a phenomenal accomplishment. Uh, We got 2,000 of these field field, uh, medical sites uh, that are up almost all operational now in the state uh, because of his support. And those are the facts. Uh, His team has been on it. I know a team when they're on it, and I know a team when they're not on it. His team is on it. They've been responsive late at night, early in the morning. We are working very well with FEMA Region 2 and with the Army Corps of Engineers building four field hospitals. Uh, That was a decision the president himself took, and I'm grateful for it. These were just extraordinary efforts and acts of mobilization and uh the federal government stepped up uh we needed help and they were there he said everything uh that i could have hoped for uh and we had a very long conversation uh and every single thing he said they followed through on we've got to have double the number of ventilators that we requested for that area of the state and in fact uh, we got them in frankly short order have we lost anyone because we didn't have a bed, or we didn't have a ventilator, or we didn't have health care staff? No. The president was extending support for new swabs. So uh, conversation, commitment, uh, promise made, promise kept. Now, to be fair, maybe Biden's not telling us because he's forgotten his own plans. Watch Biden's staff quickly swoop in to shuffle him along during a quickie escape the basement trip to Pennsylvania. Here's the deal. One of the things that that, that is important is that um, keep in mind, although they're going to vote on uh, uh, Barrett, 
I think back, today. Back that, line, please. that was terrifying. What kind of country we're going to be? Mm-hmm. Four more years of George. Uh, George, uh, he uh, is going to find ourselves in a position where if uh, Trump gets elected, uh, we're going to be uh, we're going to be in a different world.